This conference right. will now be recorded. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. This is the Town of Stratford Roosevelt Forest Commission, June 22nd, 2022. Um, I'd like to call this to order. Uh, first thing we're going to do is I'm going to declare quorum. We do have quorum here this evening. Approval of minutes from the regular uh, April 27th, uh, 22nd. I uh, know the regular meeting. Uh, well, these are the uh, the regular meeting. Our last meeting was April 27th. That's it, right? Yes. Yep. I'm looking for a motion to approve. With the uh, stipulation. I'll make a motion to approve with the amended notes from tonight's agenda. Hey, do I have a second? Seconded. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Uh, any discussion? There was a little. Um, it was called. It was a little typo. It said sandpipe instead of standpipe. So. Um, we fixed ah. that. That was the that was the the big change. Um, <laughs> all in favor? Aye. 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 Oh, so carried. Uh, continuing items. Uh, the boardwalk on the Orange Trail. Um, I don't have any update on that at this point. Does any any other member at this point? Um, if none, uh, the dog park. Um, I, I will say this on the dog park. Uh, I have been in the park and I've seen animal control out there. Um, I, I would say enforcing the lease laws of the of the forest. So um, there were some a few complaints. People coming from the dog park and their dogs secured, but it, it seems like that I haven't had any phone calls. So I'm going to assume that is taken care of at this point. Anybody else have any comments? Mm -hmm. Concerns? Um, if none, uh, next I will go to uh, scout, scout camps and live edge repair. Any comments on that? Or I know uh, there was an Eagle Scout project there done, but um, that's the only thing I have on that. Mm -hmm. um, the friends of uh, Roosevelt Forest, the Facebook page, uh, Bob Bob Ford's not on. He kind of mentors that, but um, I haven't seen anything controversial as of late. So, any comments on that? Ultra marathons. Uh, we have one coming up this weekend uh, the, in the forest. It's a thirty-hour race the 25th and 26th and the ones that are slated that are approved are all on the agenda here september october november december and we do have ones for 2023 as well approved you didn't approve Question? those no we did not improve those okay you wanted um, to approve the next 18 months so these are the races that are in, up to including the next 18 months okay does uh anyone want to um, make a motion uh, for approval of these and then we could discuss easy thank you for speaking okay. I'm hearing 2022 or 2023 well the 22 is approved i believe correct uh aileen it's 23 he needs approval for and the reason he needs approval is he's trying okay. to get the, the out there so. so we're increasing the races from five per year to six uh, yeah there is extra yeah. so, um there's a six hour there's two smaller races it's a six hour and a nine i guess um no peter but, reason is on the 2022 at one meeting alan wanted only the upcoming races on the agenda and not the ones that had already happened so what you're seeing the five that you're seeing are the upcoming ones it does not include the april one that already happened okay so six is still the same still so it's six. still the same and at the last meeting you guys voted that you you agreed to vote you to approve them 18 months in advance so 
what you're saying the 2023 is that 18 months time frame thank you Thank you, Don. Um, Move for a motion to approve. Me? Yeah. Ellen, Ellen I can't hear you. I, yeah, I'm on speaker. Can you hear me? Oh, I can hear you now. Okay. Okay. Yes, approved. I'm um, motion to approve. Is that a motion? Okay. Yes. Sure. Uh, I have a second. Yes, I'll second. Second by Pete. Okay. Now, any further discussion? I want to make sure everybody talks about this. We have comments or anything. <sighs> Blue has been a pretty good steward for the forest. I think the race is kind of, I don't think they're, you, you know, impeding anything in the forest. I think people are still able to use the forest, different trails and stuff. So I think this is a good thing for the forest. Uh, I, I think the big thing we should prove. So, on that note, I want to make sure any other comments, concerns? If none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. 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 You're breaking up. Okay. I can't hear. You can't hear me now. Right. Just static. Now, now, can you hear me clearer now? Yes. I'm gonna go off camera. To save the bandwidth. Um, park repair. I don't have any updates. I know they've been up there a couple times. Uh, there was a cutting the um, grass area and stuff like that. Um, I know there's a couple of guardrails that have been broken. There's a, um, a pit that can be fixed eventually. Um, that's all on the list of public work. They have that. But I would say if you guys have any park repairs, if you see anything, uh, say something. Put it in an email. To, you guys all have uh, just CC um, Aileen and I if you're going to send an email to public works, just so we know. You know it's just good to have and then we can make sure the commission stays on top. But if you see something, obviously a safety issue, agreed, something egregious, call the police department over the weekend type thing, get a hold of public works. So, um, same stuff we've been talking about for years. So. Any other comments on that? Yeah, Bob, at, um, in April's meeting, you stated the highway department plans to repave the parking lot and the dog park lot within the next six months. I don't know if we're still on schedule, do you know? I don't know. Um, and when you say pave, it's to put the millions there. Let me be crystal clear. Uh, that's what I believe they do, right? Okay. Yeah, the millions. Yeah, I, I have not gotten an update on that. Okay. I'm sure that's, mean, it's on their schedule though. The main yeah, lot looks a lot better. Um, they've done either grading or added the, the, the main lot there looks a lot better than it did in the winter for sure yeah it's something the pd public works is there i want to say probably a minimum of twice a year fixing up that lot because there's some there's not potholes there's craters like sometimes exist so um they, they've been pretty good with it again if you see something big please just let them know Greenstown, though, that goes to Kelly, right? Kelly, yes. Yeah. Kelly, Any yeah, yeah, Kelly. yeah, Kelly's kind of our liaison for public work. So anything like that, I would get a hold of Kelly. Uh, map updates, I don't have any. I know Kelly's working on QR codes and all that. I think we were like almost 99% done. Um, from what I remember Kelly uh, mentioning to us, so um, unless somebody else has an update on that. If not, um, expansion of Roosevelt Forest, um, the town is continuing to look at grants uh, for open space for Roosevelt Forest, just a lot of it. Um, 
the town can't really even talk about because that drives up the cost. It's you know it's in negotiations and stuff like that. So um, just stay tuned. But I know the town is actively looking to expand the forest with uh, properties that is. I, I always use the wrong term. It's not adjacent. Uh, what is it? Contiguous. That's it. Contiguous property. Hey Bob, there yeah. there, ha there has been a uh, proposal that's being kind of cobbled together by that developer that owns the 25 acres on James Farm Road and also a, like a two acre parcel near the firehouse on Oranoke. And uh, what he's trying to do is trying to get like 20 plus houses jammed into that little two acre parcel by the firehouse, but also wants to get approval um, for a couple of, I think, I think it's three or five houses on like Peter's Lane, James Farm, and then to deed the rest of that property or or a portion of it as open space. So that, you know, depending on how that goes, that that's a potential to maybe add on to the forest with that, uh, the property that, that he wants to deed over on the, the bigger parcel of James Farm, Peter's Lane. Yeah, I know there's a lot of, um, I'll use the term activity on James Farm and there has been activity. Um, I'm not sure how much is public and how much is still, you know, because the um, the town attorney is involved in it. So, duly noted, though, Pete. Yeah, we'll, I'll keep an eye on him. Ellen, I'm sure, knows a lot of details also. Can I make a comment? It's not deeding the sure, land. The town, is, <laughs> the town is going to give money for the land. Right, right. Yeah. So, again, there's some legal uh, negotiations going on. Um, I, I guess that one's a stay tuned as well. Um, trail markers. We were trying to um, get out there, hopefully on a dry day. Uh, today's not the day to do some trail markings. But um, we should put together emails and see uh, when we can go. Um, obviously, it gets a you want to do it a little bit later in the day during the summer, not too late, but um, early morning is pretty, um, I would say, a little buggy in there. So, um, but I don't, or we can wait till the fall again. But let me, um, let me know if you guys want to pick a date and see if we can get a couple people down there. All right. Yeah, the, the summer seemed to be filling up when uh, on the weekends already. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty packed the entire month of July. Every Saturday spoken for, so I can appreciate that. So maybe we can do something in August. But I'll send out an email. I'll, I'll pick a date and see if uh, we can make it. There. It's not a it's not a big deal. We get down there at eight eight thirty in the morning. We're usually done. I think by what. 10 30 11 at the latest right frank yes yes a couple hours is, is enough yeah yeah it's two and a half that's enough to team um to get three teams of two and just do it um but we can do it um can I'll, I'll go to cameras um so that is moving along uh I thought that they would be in by now, um, but I know the chief is um, the chief, the mayor, and uh, chief administrative officer, and actually the ch uh, public safety chair as well. So all are uh, looking into that. So that should be happening sooner than later, but I don't know when. Any comments on that? I'm not even sure what cameras are being installed. I'm, I'm not sure if they're doing the license plate ones um, that track license plates as well. So again, stay tuned Some on that. Some cameras in there would be good. Some cameras in there would be good, so we can see if there's any vandalism or something going on. Yeah, I, I've had I've had one-on-one -on -one discussions with the mayor about that. I'm I'm very concerned about vandalism, um, especially to the pavilion. You know. And I just don't want, you know, a major, for lack of better words, um, incident there to uh, destroy uh, the public land there. So 
right? And I think I can speak for everybody here. Nobody wants that. So we're going to have some strategic cameras uh, placed in the forest, and uh, hopefully that will be a deterrent. So stay tuned on that as well. All right, so new business. Uh, let me kind of uh, – fire suppression. So this affects my neighborhood a little bit. Um, we had a, a brush fire a couple, about a couple of weeks ago. Um, not in the forest, but it brought up a big point because um, it actually jumped from Route 15 from the north side to the south side, and the entire neighborhood was shut off where the, um, if you know where Avalon is on Cut Spring Road, there's only one way in and one way out of there um, mm -hmm. to the whole pump ground road area, upper Cut Spring. So fire trucks were blocking it. Um, so it I kind of thought of, well, what happens if the forest catches on fire? If it does a circle, how are we going to get out? So um, we are inviting Chief uh, Atkinson or a representative from the fire department to come and kind of explain what the fire plan is uh, for the forest. We we really, he just got appointed chief within a couple of weeks, and he was invited to this meeting, but maybe we can get him or a representative. Um, I would love for like a fall meeting if he can make it. So, um, again, I think it's a, it's a good thing. And plus, it's good to know what the fire plan is, what he can share with us. Um, again, they do have the sandpipe in the pond there. Um, and I know the fire department has measured uh, the trails just to see how long hose would go from one end from a fire hydrant here, like on pumpkin ground, to the middle of the forest. They actually have measurements on that. They did that a couple of years ago, so. And of course, for emergency um, extractions there, I think everybody's seen the um, the Stratford EMS has that. I'll call it a quad, it's probably not the right term for it, but I'll call it a glorified quad where they can actually, uh, you know, put a, a stretcher on there and get somebody out in case someone gets hurt in the middle of the forest, which they've done before, by the way, as well. So that's, that part of it. Any questions on that or concerns? Does the fire department do a regular one yearly um, drill there? Because I thought they did. I, I see them going by um, at least once a year. That's a great question, Ellen. I'm, I don't know that answer. Uh, I think they probably have some type of training for us. Um, I, I do know one thing about firefighting, whether a firefighting to a building to a, a brush fire is completely different firefighting in different skill levels and different um, attack modes and everything else like that. So I'm sure they go in there and, and train for that. But um, that's a better, I, I'm sure the chief or the director of public safety, Larry Ciccarelli, could give a much better answer than I can on that. I know that um, there, there are uh, there have been EMS drills up there. Uh, I don't know if it involved the fire department or not, but uh, our scouts were asked one uh, a few years ago to be uh, victims. Uh, so each one was given a story about what what it was their symptoms were and how they were supposed to act, and the EMS would find them and then you know triage and remove them so um but i don't know if it's annual um, thank you um so that's where we stand with that and do you, does anybody else have any new business at all? Um, I, there is a scout in my troop that wants to repair the remaining benches in the uh, chapel area of the group camping site. Um, some of them were done a couple of years ago, but not all of them. And subsequently the other ones that uh, were sort of in okay shape at that time have fallen down. So um, that's a, an upcoming project there. 
Um, I also have a scout who's uh, working on a project. It's actually not for the forest directly and not for the town directly, but it's for the owner of the property, the last property before you go in the main entrance on the right hand side, apparently people uh, park on in their driveway. So uh, he's going to be putting up a sign that kind of directs people to the part, the dog park and forest parking straight ahead and indicating that the side that that road is a private drive and no parking. So he's been working with somebody at the town that got a a complaint, I guess. So. And there's another, well, and thank you, Chuck, for reminding me. There is another scout project as well happening in the forest that um, fixing the, uh, I don't want to call them guardrails, but the rail, um, the perimeter of the parking lot going near the pond there. So I know scout is working on that. I'm not sure what troop it is, Chuck. I, but um, they, it's like any scout project that has to go through uh, Kelly Kerrigan to make sure it's, you know, the time if they, whatever union things or whatever. <laughs> but uh, it's that is being um, worked on as well through Kelly Kerrigan's thing. Yeah. It's basically just proven it's the same type of um, that wooden guardrails if you call them there that we have going into the pond. Border missing. So is there anything else? I just want to make sure we have everything. Yes, Bob. Yep. Something, uh, last time we had talked about this uh, story walk, the mm -hmm. library story walk that's scheduled for August. And yeah. we approve, we did approve it that it would, would um, it could go forward, which is fine. Um, we didn't set a like an ending date when these storyboards should be taken down. Do we do we want to set a date or or just or just let them handle it? Well, it's up to you guys. Um, I don't really have um, an opinion one way or the other on that. I think it's. I mean, it's not gonna when you say storyboards. What's gonna they're not going to be up there forever and ever. So, I mean, I think they'll just come well, down. I think that's his point is, I, I agree. I, I think they will be taken down. I, I happen to know the person who's leading it, but it's always a good idea, I think, to have just a reminder that, hey, get get to it. Because what if it gets forgotten for a little while? And so I never think yeah. that's a good idea to have a closing. Yeah, I'll see Sherry on Monday night. So I'll mention it to her. Is Sherry Szymanski doing it, right? The library? Lisa Wargo is at the, I thought Lisa was, but I mean, Sherry could be, as I'm sure they all know about it. It's not a huge staff, but I can't, is anybody when does it end? Sherry? Oh, go ahead, Aileen. When she sent me an email, she said that it was go the it was the signs whatever were going to be taken down in September. Okay. Oh, I didn't see. That. All right, that's oh. that's fine as long as they're not up there, you know, and they're going into the winter and they're getting all disheveled or something, and you know, just looking a mess. So just just keep it just to keep it clean. No, I love political signs that are up for nine months after an election. They look great. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I still see them all around. Yeah. I end up grabbing them after month two, and I say, I don't care. Just throw them in my car and throw them in the garbage. But, um, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm smiling, laughing with you guys on that. So, yeah, you're, you're, you're both right on that. So, we'll make sure to get them down. Like I said, we have, to, we have to be stewards of the forest too. You know, um. So if we see anything, you know, just I know when I'm on the trail, like I half the time I get I bring an extra bag with me just to pick okay. up the crap we pick up, right? So mm -hmm. that's you know, when you sign up for this big paying job here on the Roosevelt Forest Commission, that's part of the uh your initiation. You gotta pick up so many bottles uh you know, uh -huh. to, to, to your, um 
Yeah, so. That's yeah, I just um, remember reading it. So thanks, Aileen. I didn't remember seeing that September end, uh, end date in there. Yeah, so I did not see that as well. And I, I should note to everybody, put in, make sure we put in the minutes. I think everybody knows the first Eagle Scout, the first female Eagle Scout finished her project right in the in the forest, and she was awarded or Stratford's first uh, Eagle Eagle Scout. So that's completed. So yeah, kudos. I think that was, was on the. Did we got inv invited to the reception mm -hmm. for that one? We did. I think it's. It might have just happened, or wait a minute, I do have a date on that. No, it's this Friday. It's this Friday? I think at 12 o'clock, I believe so. At Booth Park, right? I'm not sure what that is. The, her her court of honor is um, July 10th from 2 to 4. Well, it starts at 2. Uh, that's when she gets formally presented with the Eagle Award uh, at Booth Park. I think they're having a ceremony either this Friday or next Friday because it was on my calendar at work. Yeah, I'll be. You said my summer is going very quickly here. Are you are you talking about are you talking about Catherine Lacory? Yes. Yes. You know. Right. Yeah. Her court of honor is on July 10th at two o'clock at Booth Park. I mean, I, there maybe there's a ceremony in the town, but no, that one we uh, were invited to. We were, I know the commission was invited, so I don't know how private that is. I just, um, I will not be able to make it. But if someone from the commission can make it, that would be great. So I, I will certainly be there. You'll be there. So. Um, but if anybody else wants yeah. to go, just I guess. I think there's an RSVP on that. Aileen, did you see that or no? Aileen? You can't see your mute there. Yes. Sorry. Was it? Okay. Uh, anything else to discuss? Any other business? Too old or anything? Um, I just want to, when is the our meeting scheduled for in July? Is it the 27th? Or is it the 20th? 27 is the fourth Wednesday. Okay. All right. I'll be back. Yeah. So. Uh, I will not be there. I will not be around for that one. So um, I will be in, and um, if we can get quorum, we will have a meeting. So if there's no other business, I'm looking for a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Adjourn. Bye. That Peggy, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank Aye. You very much. Great evening, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Too. Bye, Thank guys. You. Thanks, everyone. Have a nice evening.